A rural neighborhood shocked by a tragic accident in a backyard pool. And a family is having to cope with the horrible loss after a three-year-old drowns. Good evening. The warmer weather has arrived, and that means going to the pool across the area. Uh, but tonight, one Suffolk family's backyard summer staple is now being seen as a place where a young life was taken too soon. The drowning happened yesterday morning at a home in the Whaleyville section of Suffolk. The victim? A three year old boy. 10 on your side's Brett Hall now with what we know about what happened. Brett? And Anita, this is an ongoing investigation, and I recently spoke with someone from the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, and they tell us that there are certainly no charges filed right now, but they are not specifically ruling out that any could come. What we know absolutely right now is that a three year old boy is dead this evening. Suffolk police say it all happened yesterday morning. The boy wandered outside one of the homes in the 2400 block of Box Elder Road. This is in a rural area of Suffolk where several homes do have backyard pools. Police say so far their investigation has turned up that the family members weren't aware the toddler had wandered outside of the house. The next part of the story we have from police is that the child was found in the backyard swimming pool. Police have not yet said how long the child may have been there before being discovered. 911 was called around 11:20 a.m. and police say family members administered CPR until emergency responders arrived. The child was then transported to Sentara Obasi Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Now, if this story sounds like something you may have unfortunately heard before, the CDC does say that drowning is the leading unintentional cause of death among children ages one to four. Now, we are still going to be following this investigation as it proceeds, so stay with us here at wavy and wavy.com. Reporting live in Suffolk, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.